So the next stage is the decking railings. So this is how I'm going to put it all together and you should see the design in this video. All that I've done, I've just cut a two inch, as you can see there's around about um, 50 mil depth of one of the posts and this is going to form the footing for one of the railings. I've placed one there at the foot of that particular post and another one there on the left hand side. I drilled a couple of pilot holes just for the screws on either side and then just screwed down using decking screws. and put that into position. Like so. Next stage is to find the centre point of the 4 2 a line down it okay and then I'm going to drill a hole bang in the center Next, I'm just going to turn it over and well I've drilled through there, I'm just going to create a chamfered hole. Put a 100 mil timber screw in it. Don't screw fully in. Whoop. Just wait till that pokes through. Just there. There we are. I can just feel the point of that screw through the bottom. Turn it to one side. I've cut a section of um, the decking post, 175 millimeters long. I've marked the center just there. I'm going to place it behind the 4 by 2 So the center of that screw will be in the center of there. This will fix it down. There we go. So as it's pushed 
the wood on to it that timber screw is holding it in position let's get it right central okay go key a bit more there you go that's it that's central and screw it down there we go Let's twist it so it's straight there we go get my ratchet and tighten that fully down Okay, so all we need to do now is place it on the top of those two footings. Oh, I can't get it in. There you go. And centralise it. It's quite easy. That's the first thing. First part of it. Next, all we need to do is to screw this down. And that's the first part. Next, I just cut a section of two B, uh, two B one. I've cut it to a depth of around about I think it's twenty three mil, twenty four mil, and I'm going to place that on top of this template here. That's one hundred seventy five mil high, the same height as that pose I've just cut. Put some wood glue on this and then screw it on the top. This just gives it that extra bit of security and strength because this is going to take the top part of the rail. So I'm just going to push that against there, centralize it, put the two stacking screws in. Make sure that's level. There you go. And central. There you go. There we go, pull that away, just clean that glue up. And repeat the process to the other side of the rail.
there we go and then the next part of the rail system uh, the 4x2 I'll be fitting just on top of there and I'll show you how we do that it'll be quite neat when I finish it so now I've fitted them they're going to fit across on the rail itself and I'm going to do a little bit of routing and the 4x2s so I just traced an outline of those little blocks on both sides as you can see now all I've got to do is route them out All I've got to do now is just get the chisel and make them nice and square because obviously the corners there where the route has been it's going to be rounded off a little bit. So there you go. So what we've got to do now, let's cross it over, let's see if it fits. And there you go, Bobo. So all that I need to do now, just put a layer of wood glue on the top. Just see it. There you go. Same on the other little block there you are. Put on liberally don't be scared to use it take this into position okay there you go and then squeeze that down make sure that glues right on and then right in the centre of the main post, let's screw it down into position. So I just need to push that in there. That's it. Just twist this to that position. That will do. Okay. And there you go, job done.
So for the next part of the rail, I put a template here. As you can see, a height template on either side. Oop, there you go. All the way down. Um, this one's around about 300 mil, 400 mil height. It's equal either side anyway. So I'm just going to put one of those little blocks on and those will be supporting the top rail. So it's exactly the same process as before. Some glue just on the inside, just to give it that extra strength. There you go, put it on liberally. I'll also do that side. I'm not going to show you this in this particular clip because it's just a repeat on the right on my right hand side. Then what we're going to do? I'm going to put a bit of glue on here. My daughter's coming down, I'm trying to stop her coming down while I'm filming. Okay, there you are. That one's in position. That's it, make sure it's central. There you go. I'm just putting 65mm screws in, decking screws. And she goes. There you go. It's not the same on my right hand side. You can't see that that in this clip, but trust me, that's what I'm doing. There you go. and central and there you go another garden so all we've got to do now, put the top rail on, and then we'll have a look at look what, uh, what it looks like. Okay, uh, I'll try that one again, the camera just fell off its um, support. But anyway, I've knocked it in position, I've got to be careful how Possibly a knockdown because I might knock the camera off again. But there you go, that's in position. All we've got to do now is put a couple of screws vertically upwards through those blocks to secure this top rail into position. And that's relatively easy. All we need to do is put a couple of pilot holes in. There you go. one here and then I've got some <clears throat> okay what I have got I've got some 30 mil stainless screws left over when I did the roofing so there we go and that there you go. just make sure it's central. That's good to go. 
There you go, that's one. You see this one's nice and centralised, yep. And there you go. Another job done. So what we'll do now, we'll take you around and have a look at all the railings complete and see what you think. I've attempted to keep it traditional, yet simple. I didn't want to put any anything in too fancy and I wanted the top part uh, quite open so you could see the tea house itself. It's surprisingly easy to make and, and I'm quite pleased with the results. That's my view anyway. I'm not sure what you think as you're looking in. It's certainly solid. So let's have a walk around then. So there you go. So let's go all the way around it from the outside. Oops, easy, I'm gonna tip over. Just needs a good lick of paint now. Uh, I will be putting a platform just down there, uh, but that'll be in a couple of weeks' time. They yeah, triangle that part of the rails there, just around the tree, the oak tree. Um, I'm hoping that takes into consideration its growth. It's not fully grown yet. Um, as you know, some oak trees grow for hundreds of years, but I'm hoping at least I've got a gap there for the next at least 20 years anyway. And there you go, that's from the outside looking in to the Shoji doors. So what do you think? Let me know. Give me a verdict. If you think it's good, let me know. And if you think it could do with some improving, again, let me know. So there you go then. So give me a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm getting few comments to be quite honest but just let me know what you think i've tried my absolute utmost to the best i can i know it's not perfect you've got professional joiners out there professional carpenters probably saying oh you should have done this you should have done that totally get it i'm an amateur and what i'm trying to do with this series of videos is to show how people can actually do things themselves DIY. Do it yourself. So on that basis and until the next video where I clean all the rails up just a little bit, I'll see you again and happy DIY. <laughs>